Modern Warfare is a game amongst the world powers and those who just want to get a few minutes of fame on international news. It's like a dangerous affair, and everyone knows not to mess around above their level. However, one country everyone tries not to mess with is the United States, you know, maybe because they have a huge arsenal. From having high-tech robotic combat vehicles to Ohio-class nuclear submarines that are capable of efficient destruction. Here are 20 reasons you shouldn't mess with the USA. High Energy Laser Weapon If you think lasers and pointy weapons are just tools you see in sci-fi movies, then you would be totally wrong. I mean, who wouldn't want to have some of these high-tech weapons against their imaginary enemies? You'd be shocked to know that laser weapons are not just a myth of the creation of some writer's imagination. This is because the US Navy just admitted they've created something so advanced it would destroy everything it comes in contact with. The US told their scientists to go to work and figure out how to make laser technology into a high-energy weapon that can just tear anything apart. The truth is that we aren't surprised and they wouldn't be the first to do so, as they'd be joining the Jedis of Star Wars on that list. With the US letting the rest of the world know what they have in the arsenal, we were able to know that they have a 60 kilowatt laser weapon. This laser weapon, which shoots an invisible spectrum of light, is the ultimate destruction machine. You don't want to imagine how much damage that would be able to inflict on the enemy. It's said that this laser weapon is capable of shooting down drones as far as 500 yards away. With this level of advancement in the laser weaponry section, it's said that they intend to develop the technology so it can shoot down missiles. Minuteman 3 ICBM We want you to picture this. A country is at war with another, which is on another continent. What do you think would be the best way to fight without using infantry? Missiles, right? Well, this is what most of the world power developed during the aftermath of the Second World War, in which they still continue to spend so much more money on. Then here comes the United States, who's known as the top spender, ensuring they let everyone know who's the boss. They acquire one of the most sophisticated missile systems in the world and just put it out there for show. The Minuteman 3 ICBM, which is a weapon of mass destruction that's readily available to launch from well-secured bases around the US in less than a minute's notice. The interesting part about this missile is that it's capable of carrying a warhead for about 8,000 miles at supersonic speeds. As an enemy, you don't want this flying directly at you, as you wouldn't even be able to take out the military bases they're being fired from because they're well secured underground. The war machine uses hardened cables to transmit information and data between control centers, so there's usually no leak. If you want to mess with the US, the Minuteman 3 would always serve as a deterrent that they aren't within arm's length. Ohio-class nuclear submarine As kids, we've always wondered how real-life submarines would have looked because our references mostly came from cartoons or movies. Well, the shock that would rock you the most is finding out that these guys are so huge you could fit several armored tanks inside of them. Since warfare is not a joke, Seeing the United States pump so much money into getting some of the best submarines isn't a surprise. With the air and land covered, they worked on wreaking enough havoc on the sea. So, one way this could be done is through the Ohio-class nuclear submarine, fitted to the brim with nuclear deterrence. We aren't talking about a fleet of submarines that consist of about 14 ballistic missile submarines and four cruise missile submarines. These gigantic sea vessels house half of the thermonuclear warheads that the US Navy possesses. Now, if you were to guess their size, best believe that you would goof. Well, unless you were in the Navy. These guys are about 560 feet long and weigh about 18,750 tons when submerged. Not only are they huge, they're quite fast as they move at about 25 knots. So don't even think you can outrun them in your dad's old boat. Let's say you even overlook the speed. 
How about firepower? We can all agree that these vessels are ones you don't want showing up on your radar. To even show how much brute force the Ohio-class nuclear submarine could hold, a treaty, the New START Treaty, had to be held to limit the number of tubes that could be active on each of the ballistic submarines. UGM-133 Trident II When the Greek gods all got their power, Poseidon, the god of the underworld, preferred to use the trident as his battle weapon. That's because it's quite precise and isn't all about just shooting lightning down from the sky. No shade to Zeus. However, one weapon that engaged this style of precision and also took its name is the UGM-133 Trident II. This weapon, which is mostly used for strategic attack, has been added to the defense catalogs as they deal quite a fair amount of damage. These weapons are far-reach missiles and would most likely catch the enemies right at their meal tables. Since Lockheed Martin's space began production in 1983, its missions have all been successful. We're talking about a record in which 177 tests have been successful and only 10 failed. Now, if we factor in all of these, we would see that its main intent is the devastation of the enemy camp. So unless the enemy has some sophisticated and deadly countermeasure, there's almost no way one is stopping a missile that weighs 130,000 pounds and flying at a speed of 18,030 miles per hour. That's like weighing a skinny teenager trying to lock his head with a raging bull charging at them. There's almost no survival. So anyone who really feels like they're itchy and wants to mess with the US, they'd know they'd have their work cut out for them. C-5M Super Galaxy The air is another major way that most nations protect themselves from external forces. And that's why the U.S. Air Force is trained to be at its best. It's no surprise we've got youngins queuing to join the military. At least they got a constant paycheck and lots of benefits. However, one part that plays a major role in Air Force defense is the machinery and weaponry. You know it's the United States, and weapons are like our constitutional right. So as long as it's capable of dealing enough damage to intended person, we're good to go. Wouldn't you rather be confident that you have the right people protecting you? Anyway, with a large repertoire of weapons available to the U.S. Air Force, one that stands out is the C-5M Super Galaxy. This is the largest aircraft amongst the list that they've got going on in the Air Force and it's responsible for the haulage and movement of essential personnel and cargo. Oh yeah, when we say cargo, we're talking about weaponry of the highest level. Those ones that weigh a lot and can shell out projectiles that can tear through almost anything. The interesting part about its haulage ability is that it can load up weapons weighing up to 280,000 pounds. We also have to mention that the US Air Force doesn't have just one, but about 126 of this air beast. The magnificence of this aircraft can't be undermined, as its sheer power is one for the books. Like imagine the aircraft carrying that much payload for about 2150 nautical miles. Anyways, since its introduction in June of 1970, it's been a great player and has undergone several technological advancements to meet up with modern standards. B-52 Strato Fortress If you want to undertake a variety of operations and you need just about the right weaponry for that, then you should pick up the B-52 Strato Fortress. This is like having a fanny pack from which you can draw out most utility tools. In reality, the B-52 is a long-range bomber that glides through the sky at below supersonic speed before stunning the opposition. Not only does it do the dirty work of dropping explosives with its highly precise nav system, but it also has earned itself the nickname Flying Fortress. The B-52 also provides close-range air support for the U.S. Navy, offensive counter-air ops, and undertakes surveillance around the enemy and friendly waters. For most Navy folks, the B-52 is the friend in the sky that everyone needs because you will rest assured that someone is watching your back. However, this job didn't start today, as the aircraft has been in service for over 60 years and has played a role in most of the U.S. operations. For an aircraft to be able to undertake this lengthy service time, it begs to ask what type of features it packs. 
A little perusal of its features shows that its dexterity is one of its key strengths, as it can operate for over 8,800 miles without refueling. All this while it's undertaking pinpoint attacks with its advanced targeting and image processing technology. So, if the name doesn't scare those who want to mess with the US, maybe its features and abilities will help them rethink. Stealth Bomber How do you intend to attack an opponent when they possess an accessory of stealth defense? Well, we can say that it would become almost impossible because whenever they try to defend or attack, you'd almost not be able to see them. That's like trying to fight a sensei blindfolded. Well, unless you're Toph from the cartoon Avatar Aang, you'd almost have no fighting chance. Ultimately, as an aggressor, you'd be setting yourself up for defeat, and that wouldn't be a new thing for the US to dish out. As we all know, the US has a huge armory, and one of its beloved is the Stealth Bomber. You don't want this swooping down towards your position. This aircraft is one that looks like it was pulled out from a fictional movie. It's an aircraft that, if introduced during the World War, would have had the opposition waving a white flag. One thing about this aircraft is that it moves at speeds that are almost undetectable by the enemy's defense system. With this type of weapon, the attack is seamless, as the aircraft would swoop in on the enemy's stronghold and release a devastating payload in the blink of an eye. Since its first test mission in July 1989, it's joined a long list of essential US defense systems, and fair enough, it's quite efficient. For those who even doubt its proficiency, a quick chat with the Serbians would show how much devastation it wrecked in the first eight weeks of Operation Allied Force. Now, to give you more clarity, the aircraft was flying down from its base in Missouri to give the Serbians a taste of what the US could dish out to those who messed with them. MIA-2 Abrams On September 15, 1916, when the Allied forces marched down on the Germans at the Battle of Somme, one thing most soldiers didn't expect to see was a hunk of metal that was shelling out destruction. These hunks of metal, or tanks as they were later called, went on to be major players in the war. If you were there, do you think you'd have been able to stand and shoot at it with your old and raggedy gun? We don't think so. Since then, the world powers have all worked on building the most sophisticated and efficient tanks to make land battles or missions more successful. This brought about lots of innovations as engineers designed hundreds of models just to get the right one. These guys were literally fiddling with every possible design and armor that it would make it lightweight and deadly. It took them about 84 years to be able to build one of such tank that's sophisticated and deadly. This tank, the MIA-2 Abrams, became a fan favorite for the US Army, especially those who now had a more technologically advanced weapon. Unlike the old tanks of the early days, these tanks are fitted with both machine guns and cannonballs that would rock the camp of the enemy and bring them out of their crevices. Although it's not a piece of fast machinery, its sheer presence is enough to scare the opposition. Largest Aircraft Carrier If you see a lot of movies, you know that most times, during missions, aircraft are not brought out from the hangar to be deployed. This is because the process would take a lot of time and they'd not be ready to move, so aircraft carriers became the solution. Also because it was easier for aircraft that were going on lengthy missions to start halfway from any of the military bases close by. These vessels became a thing and usually set in waters that were controlled by the nation of their allies. With the US being a part of the allied forces, they decided to stunt everyone and it was just normal for them to have the best fleet of aircraft carriers. One such aircraft carrier is the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier, which is in the service of the US Navy. It's said that the aircraft could hold up to 4,500 crew and 75 aircraft. If that's not a floating fortress already, we don't know what is. Don't get carried away and think it's just an aircraft carrier, because this vessel packs a devastating blow. With defense systems ranging from evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and CIWS, and trust us, those names sound scary enough. Mars Weaponized Robot Technology has seen lots of advancements, and this has shaped every aspect of our life. It's even improved the quality of our lives and helped us, you know, stretch out our legs more. 
This is also transcended into the military, as there are times that there is no need for humans to get involved, thereby reducing casualties. We bet the warriors from the old times are fuming in their graves. Well, this must have been the idea when the Mars weaponized robots were produced, as they're the ultimate casualty reduction machine. Who wouldn't like it, you know? Just some robot doing the dirty work while you watch from a screen. It's so cool that you even get to respawn. Most times when new grounds are being advanced upon, the enemy can get tricky and could have mined up the whole area, thereby wanting to increase casualties. Jokes on them, the Mars, in this case, would be able to take the damage that may ensue and still carry on to do more damage. Most may say, hope they wouldn't turn on us, but that would be impossible with the Mars. These guys are only functional by coded instructions from operators who are trained to help with their navigation and engagement. So no weird AI taking over moves would be happening. Zoom Walt Destroyer During the old times, maritime wars were being fought with ships shooting cannons from their side to destroy their opponents. These ships, which were usually made of wood most of the time, fell apart like packs of cards. Well, maybe because that was when they had access to them. In modern times, it's a whole lot different, and the stronger your ship, the more devastating your enemy's weapon. Now imagine trying to win in this type of situation. You know, you need so much firepower. This is exactly what the Zoom Walt Destroyer packs, as it's what we call a war vessel. We're talking about an intimidating look, tough armor, and a design that looks like it's out of a comic book. Well, if you factor in the name, that should scare the enemy. Zoom Walt Destroyer? Like, who came up with that? However, what you should know is that this vessel is fitted to destroy everything in its wake. With an integrated undersea warfare system, the vessel is well prepared to notice possible underwater attacks such as mines and torpedoes. So, if the enemy is trying to sneak in a bit of a surprise launch, surprise, they can see you with several sonar arrays. Oh yeah, the MK-57 vertical launching systems would do the rest of the work by shelling their position with missiles. AH-64 Apache When we say Apache, we're sure that everyone knows what we're talking about. Well, if you don't, then you should know that we're talking about those menacing and dangerous military choppers. The ones in the movie Hellbirds that most times swoop down on enemy locations and rain down a torrent of bullets. One that's quite common with the US Army is the AH-64 Apache, and this chopper packs a mean punch. It's not even a joke, we're talking about its 30mm M230 chain gun and AGM-14 Hellfire missiles. Now even the name itself is scary enough, like can you imagine how much damage a 30mm bullet can do to the human body? We'll leave that to your imagination. Anyway, since it's become a constant choice of the US Army, most soldiers have gone on with the confidence that there's adequate air support to help them during missions. And let's not forget that they also have an advanced night vision system, so you know that they're readily available to swoop down on you at any time of the day. Laser Avenger If you want to get the dirty job done from wherever with as much precision and calm, then you might want to get a UAV. Now, how do we get to UAVs when we're talking about the Laser Avenger? Well, that's because those guys are sworn enemies and they're out to get each other. Why would we say this? It's because UAVs can be very annoying to deal with. So what the US did was find a countermeasure to pull down the menace. Somebody would say this is not necessary since you can shoot them down. However, what they would not know is that trying to shoot down UAVs with conventional weapons puts your location at risk. So this is why the Laser Avenger does a perfect job. All it needs to do is shoot invisible laser beams of about 10 kilowatts at these UAVs get a clean shot and boom, it would drop like a fly. Robotic Combat Vehicle The world is advancing and AI is slowly creeping into our daily lives. This has made a lot of people scared as they wonder if AI wouldn't take over someday. Now, this is a valid fear, but this doesn't take away the numerous benefits it brings to our existence. Take a look at the Robotic Combat Vehicle, for instance, this unmanned military vehicle is designed to take away the complexity of human interaction with violence. Its design is so well thought though that when it's deployed, 
It does the work of a human soldier while reducing the possibility of casualties. We're talking about a vehicle that packs the power of an armored tank and can even undergo scouting missions. Think about all the lives that could have been saved when there's a machine that takes all the hits. Anyways, the functionality of this combat vehicle is quite interesting to know, and this makes one wonder what the future holds for the robotic combat vehicle. The interesting part about this vehicle is the fact that it's operated by humans, so you can relax on the AI taking over trope. Oh yeah, and they're fitted with a remote turret that shoots through the 25mm guns. And not only that, it also sports a .50 caliber M2 machine gun. So when making trouble, this is definitely not a machine you want to come face to face with as an opponent. Carl Gustav M4 Assault rifles are the pinnacle of warfare, as they bring both combatants to the closest face-to-face -face contest. However, over the years, they've undergone several modifications, and this has improved the accuracy and the rate at which damage is done. It's so funny, because during the First World War, these guys were using rifles such as the SMLE Rifle MK3 and bayonets. It's so funny because the rounds one could shoot were so limited that you needed to use your bayonet to stab at your opponents before you could reload. Now, there are more sophisticated and advanced rifles being used for missions. However, when you're face to face with an armored vehicle, you might require a bit more power. So when this gun came along, it felt like an addition that was necessary for the fold. Who knows, an enemy tank may just straddle towards your position and all you need to do is send it a package that would blow it to smithereens. The only downside to the Carl Gustafon M4 was that it wasn't an assault and could only fire limited artillery rounds. F-35 Lightning II The stage is set and you're seeing the movie Top Gun. Two. One. Then you see Tom Cruise make unique maneuvers in his F-14 fighter jet. This aircraft, which is rated to be the best air fighter jet, was even much work for Maverick to handle, but he later learned the ropes. Well, a similar aircraft with similar capabilities that's in the arsenal of the US Air Force is the F-35 Lightning II, which was designed to pierce through the skies at lightning speeds. Now we're not talking about the Apache or stealth bomber speeds, we're talking about speeds of up to Mach 1.6, which is quite fast. This makes one wonder how it's able to pull its weight of about 49,140 pounds. But hey, as long as it does the job, right? Rotary cannons, bombs, air-to-surface missiles, and even anti-ship missiles. With this much firepower, it's no surprise every inch of the military wants these aircraft and their arsenal to inflict damage on opponents. AC-130 Gunship if you intend to carry out an operation at night and want the effect to be as devastating as possible, getting a gunship would most likely be your best bet. This aircraft, which is built for transport and long endurance attack, can be a great addition to any combat expedition. We're talking about it providing weapons that can be used to fish out enemies on the ground with its advanced technology, navigation systems, and top-notch sensor. However, as much as this aircraft is packed to deal out a lot of damage, it's also prone to attack from aerial defense systems that can easily shoot it down. The main reason is that it's only capable of lying at very low altitudes of around 7,000 feet, and that can even be sighted by a random kid in a barn. So what it's been repurposed for is to serve as air support, escort convoys, and protect ground troops from possible attack. However, due to its fixed wing design, the AC-130 gunship is incapable of operating like other war aircraft, so it uses its attack method. This method, known as the pylon turn, involves the aircraft flying around the target in a circular motion and raining down a hail of projectile. Oh yeah, it's not just raining down any type of projectile, the aircraft is fitted with L-60 Beaufort 40mm cannons and an M-137 105mm cannon. Martin F-22 Raptor When you hear the name Lockheed, what would you mostly attribute to it? Let me guess, military-grade weapons, right? Well, you'd be right. This brand has constantly shelled out quality, and one weapon that tops their collection is the Martin F-22 Raptor. This is one interesting aircraft.
This aircraft, which derives its name from the ferocious dinosaur, is one deadly aircraft to go against. We're talking about a weapon that would take the enemy camp fielding its best operative just to match its prowess. And yeah, it's fully functional during any type of weather due to its ruggedness. With just 195 in circulation, the aircraft is a frontrunner in the US Air Force and plays the role of the air superiority fighter. Now this isn't a name that's just bestowed on any aircraft, but on those that can get the job done with ease and efficiency. So what makes this aircraft special? We can list its functionalities that range from stealth and super maneuverability to blazing speed. Well, this is mainly because it flies at a speed of about 1.8 Mach without its external stores. Now, if you don't have an idea of how fast that is, then you shouldn't even be in such an aircraft in the first place. MK-19 Grenade Launcher while the US was trying to gain more ground in Vietnam, someone was in a lab trying to figure out how to tip the war in their favor. After much thought, they came up with a way to make grenade launching much more automated and precise. This was the birth of the MK-19 grenade launcher that made a dent in the war and tipped it in favor of the US. With a design that wasn't all that sophisticated but was able to get the job done, soldiers could haul grenades at their enemies. The grenade launcher could deploy its payload to about 1,600 yards, and this was enough fear in the enemy's hearts as the war progressed. The interesting part of all this was the fact that the grenade launcher was quite capable and had a load capacity of about 32 or 48 grenades. Now imagine if a full round was unloaded on an enemy location. How much havoc would it have wrecked? These proposed innovations include a less resistant barrel, increased muzzle velocity, and increased durability. All this would culminate in the weapon becoming one for the future and would be able to serve the United States for more years to come. MQ-9 Reaper If you intend to mess with the US and most of the weapons mentioned in this video haven't scared you, then this one should. We're talking about a weapon designed to inflict as much damage as possible on the enemy without any internal casualties. The weapon is known in the military world as the MQ-9 Reaper, and it definitely is a Reaper. So whenever intelligence needs to be collected, this is the UAV that's best for the job. This aircraft could literally fly above your home and study your routine for a year, and you wouldn't even know. Oh, and if you think you can't outsmart it, then you're the biggest joker. This is because it uses cutting-edge sensory technology, and you know that you definitely aren't escaping that. This sensor, which is known as the Multispectral Targeting System, is fitted with sensors that range from infrared sensors, laser designator, laser camera, and a shortwave infrared camera, which all enhance its precision. Aside from its deadly proficiency, this aircraft can also be readily available anywhere in the world, as it can easily be disassembled and fixed back quite easily. So we've looked at some of the reasons why you wouldn't want to mess with the United States, and this is mostly because of the firepower they have behind them. So that's it for this video, and we hope you enjoyed every bit of it. If you did, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for joining us today. Have a nice one.